hey what's up guys once again welcome back to my channel so today's video is with some message as per government rule stay at home and help the government to fight against coronavirus so let's start This is our drawing. So this is our SolidWorks interface. Firstly, go to the new, then go to the part. Then select all the planes and click on show. Now select top plane and click on sketch. So we are drawing the object from the top. So let me select the R command. So I am choosing center point R and give the dimension to that arc. That's 22.5 mm radius. And draw the line from that arc endpoint as per our sketch. Let me draw the profile, then we can give the dimension to it. So vertical line dimension adds 10 mm. another vertical line dimension as 40 mm and the end point of the vertical line and the origin point distance as 12.5 mm Draw the center line and go to the mirror command. Now select remaining or the unmirrored portion and select the mirror line and click on OK. Now we need to draw the central circles. So you can draw the random circle and give the dimension by using smart dimensions. Diameter as 20 mm dimension. Exit sketch. Go to the extrude boss. Extrude boss length as. And give the extrude boss length as 25 mm. Now we need to draw the back side extrude cut. So we need to select face of that object and click on sketch. Press Ctrl 8. Draw the rectangle by using the end point of that object and give the dimension as 15 mm from the bottom. And length as 15 mm from the top. And click on exit sketch. Now we need to go to the extruded cut and click on through all. Click on OK. Now our object is ready. Only chamfer balance. Now select the fillet edges. 
select all pellet edges which having same R now select another fillet edges which having same R and click on OK now we need to draw the chamfer for the top of circle select the edge and select the chamfer distance and click on OK now our object is ready if you like the video then subscribe my channel if you like the video, 